we'll start with an opening sting from Coach, then open up to questions. Coach, whenever you're ready. Uh, I don't know if this feeling ever gets old, getting and seeing your name and hearing your name get called. Uh, the anxiety has been killing us the last two uh, selection Sundays because we were last and second to last. But it was pretty cool to get it out of the way and not have to sit through a bunch of uh, names and trying to figure out if you, where you're going to go and, and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, super excited for our team, really grateful for Rebel Nation and Oxford community for coming out. Uh, according to my GPS, it's a nine hour and 35 minute drive. So that's definitely doable. And I think that they're up there carpooling right now. If you don't want to fly, you could just all hop in to some vehicles and come on out because we'd love to have great fan support in uh, South Bend, Indiana. Questions for Coach? You, you haven't been shy about wanting to, to make history here. Mm -hmm. It's the first time since 94, 95, 96 that this program's made it to three straight tournaments. What, is, what does history like that mean to you? I mean, it's, you know, when you're a head coach and you take a job, you have you have goals and and honestly, you know, I knew this would happen, but I'm not going to sit here and say this is all going according to the plan, uh, you know, step by step. I do think that I've always thought that we could be a perennial tournament team. Uh, the next goal is to be a perennial Sweet 16 team. Uh, we, we have our work cut out with the opponents that – where the Marquette, who we're getting ready to play, and then if we if we beat Marquette, and then who we play after that. So uh, Notre Dame and in their own place, but we're we're no strangers to that either. So you know, as far as we're concerned, this is an opportunity uh, for us to continue to build the momentum that I hope we can have as we um, head into next year. So I'm excited to see how far we can take this. What were your emotions all day today? And kind of like I asked Maddie, and mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't a will, but where mentality. I mean, so for you today, what's kind of been the emotions? Well, I didn't really sleep much last night. Uh, uh, gave the team a day off, so uh, went and tried to do some things normal people do, like grocery shop and um, <laughs> and that kind of stuff. But but um, you know, my my emotions is just like really focus on. Being able to get back to the office, watch film, um, talk to people that have played, you know, Marquette, and um, and see how we could put together a good game plan so that we can be successful. Just looking at their stats very quickly, mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like um, they they're very good at denying the opposition offensive rebounds, and I know that's something that's very important yeah. to, to the way that you you win. Mm -hmm. um, when you come up with a foe that's good at that, I mean, is, is there a way that you can try to attack that or you just kind of have to do what you do? I mean, I think for us, we just have to be who we are, you know, wh what we do. It's no mystery to who we are and what we're capable of doing. Um, you know, I like to think that the Southeastern Conference has prepared us for that um, night in and night out. I'm really excited about the opportunity to go up against a team like Marquette, you know, uh, they've had ups and downs this season, but have a lot of respect for Coach Duffy, and she played at Notre Dame, so, you know, she's a competitor, and and their players, Liza and uh, Mackenzie and Jordan, are all super talented. That's their big three, and so we have to figure out how to stop them, you know, and they've also had successful wins. They beat Arkansas, beat Creighton, beat Illinois, um, and so, and, and the game is closer to home for them. So I bet they'll have home court uh, attendance there. And so all in all, like I just, for us, we're excited about the opportunity to play someone outside of the Southeastern Conference. Uh, that's a blessing uh, because, you know, it's a jungle in the SEC. And um, we're excited about seeing what we're able to do out there for sure. Have you been following any of the, the bracketology over the last week or so? I yeah. Mean, when you are watching it, are you thinking, oh, this is where such yeah. and such is how it's projected to play? Like, yeah. How are you watching it and uh, reading all that stuff? Uh, I, don't, 
I don't believe any of like where you're going to be or who you're going to play, but Charlie Cream has been pretty consistent uh, in the in the past years of your um, seeding. And uh, I think two weeks ago he had us at that eight seed and drop in, and then we went on a win streak. He started moving us up. And uh, but I felt I felt like we should have been a, a six or a five, honestly. But you know, first in in the seven seed, you know, it's it's an improvement from where we were last year. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't know how much it, much it matters with seeding. I think it all matters with the matchup and styles make makes fights. I have not seen Marquette, uh, so I'm not sure what their style is compared to ours. But uh, once I see that, then I'll know what type of fight we're in and up against. Like you said, that you feel like seeding doesn't really matter. I mean, y'all showed that last right. year, right? Like, when you have a team that's been there and done that mm -hmm. as an eight seed, knocking off a one seed, how much confidence does that give you guys moving in that, hey, whoever we're facing, we're able to win? Like, it doesn't really feel like a David and Goliath to you guys. Well, I think the Southeastern Conference has prepared us for that. You know, night in and night out, you have to bring your best. Uh, it doesn't matter against who, um, you have to bring your best. And, you know, we, we, we have been a team that has been challenged. You know, we lost our starting point guard early in the year. We had our forward playing the point for a short stint. Uh, we've been trying to figure it out, but I think we did pretty good for ourselves. Um, and so, like I said, for me, like I'm excited to just – dig into the film. I don't know that I leave the office tonight and just uh, really, you know, prepare. I saw my husband and gave him a hug, and I said, see you tomorrow. And so we're going to really get, get after it and try to figure out how we could play advantage basketball on both ends of the floor. Yeah, he talked about kind of flipping that switch from excitement to like, okay, now it's time to get yeah. to work. What's that, what's that like for you, the anticipation of waiting an entire week and mm -hmm. the excitement of seeing it to now, you know, a game – less than a week away. Well, here's the thing is, uh, for me, uh, for coaches, this is the most exciting time of the year. It's uh, tournament championships and then March Madness, you know, uh, or postseason, because I've been excited even to participate in the WNIT in the past. You, it's exciting because you get to play someone completely different, so it's fresh. They don't know you as much, and you don't know them, and uh it's really going to come down to the team that is most prepared. Now, my players, they're going to sleep well tonight because they have confidence that we'll have a game plan. I don't know if we're going to play Friday or Saturday. Friday? Right, Friday. So that will be a Wednesday, Thursday prep with us playing on um, Friday, which is normal for us. So, uh, And it was normal just like how it was for us getting ready to go to the SEC tournament. So – uh, we're just really grateful to be in this position. Uh, you all have been with me when we weren't. <laughs> so we're just going to count our blessings and uh, put our best foot forward. Any other questions for Coach? Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.